Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all doing well. Hope y'all doing very well. It's very beautiful out today. I came out today really just to make this um, quick video for you guys, for people that want to open up assisted living facilities. And um, it's really nice. So it got a little things going on. So I'm not able to let the windows down. So I hope you can hear me good in the car. Um, my reason for this video is regarding the steps you know that you need to get licensed um as a alf owner and i had the pleasure of talking to a young lady last week where she submitted everything that she thought she needed to submit um for her alf and it was denied and after she read it she realized that she didn't take one part um yet she was in the process of taking it but she didn't know she needed to have that completed before she submitted the application which is the core training um the core training is the first step that anyone that's thinking about doing it or have an idea about doing it is to complete just make sure the person that's giving you that core training is licensed in the state of florida and it's very easy to find out you can go on to the aqua website and put in um license core training for alf and they'll bring you a list of everyone in the state of florida that's licensed to give that um you want to make sure you take that first because in order for you to take the exam they have to say that you have completed the 26 hours and give you a certification saying that you did so you have met the guidelines of that because that's a florida statute uh, regulation that you have to have so after they give you that then you will go on to the mcdonald uh, research institute and download their application submit it along with that certification so they can send back saying that you cleared to take the exam so you can be licensed um on that same website you'll be able to see um where's the testing site the nearest closest testing site for you because you got to make sure that you know you don't have to drive so far so you'll be able to schedule your own test date and time you'll know where you want to go so if you go to my instagram page you can go to either one of my instagram page you can go to nurse tisa or you can go to spires consultant instagram i know i haven't been putting much activity up there but i'm gonna start putting more stuff up there related to the alf um you can click there and download my e-guide my e-guide has a hyperlink in there for the mcdonald institute so you can click right on it and it'll give you everything that you need it'll show you where you need to download your application it'll also show you a list of all testing sites in the areas with the dates and times it's going to tell you how much it is the cost for taking the exam now it was just 200 dollars. i want to say november december because i was looking into it for someone else and it was two hundred dollars i look today today two six twenty two it has increased to three hundred dollars so with that being said just know that some of the core trainers will be probably revising their fees some people are charging between 250 on up to five hundred dollars due to the fact that exam is costing three hundred dollars i will only imagine that it's gonna be like a at least another hundred dollars increase on giving that training okay so you want to complete all that stuff before you even submit the application because you submit the application you sit submitting money right along with it um if you submit the application you probably did all your inspections your health department your fire marshal you know all those things your emergency plan all that things cost money so if you do all that and then submit it you got to start all over again not that you have to start all over with the the um inspections like the fire marshal and stuff like that because that's all good for a year but the cost of the application because there is a fee for just the standard license and then you're gonna have a fee per bed that you have in your facility so it costs money you don't want to be wasting your money so please please i beg you take the core training first make sure that person is licensed and able to give you that training and then submit your application and take that exam once you do those three little pieces together then you own the way to the next phase okay check out my e-guide i made it kind of simple 
um so you'll be able to follow along because i'm that type of person that i need like a checklist and then i'll check it off as i go so you'll have all that stuff together and you're good to go so um i'm gonna be putting posting videos related to assisted living at least twice a month um if not more and um yeah so if you like the content i'm putting out regarding assisted living please like subscribe to my channel comment um i will reply back i also will leave my information my office address and um phone numbers and emails and my contact information under this video and just reach out to me if you need any more assistance okay until next time y'all be easy y'all be safe okay peace